Hello. Today we are going to be uh, showing how to start up this uh, Echo SRM225 and uh, common problems if it doesn't start up. This is pretty much the same for any kind of trimmer, uh, but I just happen to have this model. Uh, so, first thing you want to do, turn on the on switch, like that. Okay, now the next thing you're wanna, gonna want to do is prime it. One, two, three, four, five. Now that's all the primes I ever have to do. Um, and then I normally uh, try one or tw once or twice in the run position, and then if this if it does not start in that, then I try the cold start. Uh, that keeps the engine from flooding, I've noticed. Uh, if you do cold start and then run, um, some equipment like this, which starts really easy, uh, floods very easily as well. Um, so, I'm going to do uh, an example of it starting up. Okay, so, uh, it's not in the choke position. Uh, we, have the, we have the switch on. We've primed it five times, and you really don't need to hold the throttle on this. They normally start very easy. You grab here, and you uh, pull. Now that was a cold start. It hasn't been run in uh, a day or so, and uh, that's how easy it is to start. I mean, yeah, never had any problems with it. Um, now let's go over some of the symptoms that you'd have if it didn't start. Okay, so one of the reasons it might not start is because you're not on a warm day like this. It's really cold, and uh, for that kind of thing, you see this right here. The cold start, what you're going to want to do is flip this tab up and now it's covering the carburetor so that there's more gas getting in there. But on a hot day like this, you never need to use this. I've never had to on this trimmer. Um, another thing is you're not getting gas in the bulb. Uh, that can either be due to a couple things. Either your carburetor uh, is having issues, uh, like air is getting in, there's pressure in your gas tank down here, let's see if I can, there's pressure in here which can normally be relieved by opening the gas cap, or you're just plainly out of gas, check your gas tank, uh, even if there's a little bit in there, if it's not more than halfway, normally it'll start sucking air in the line because that filter is larger than just the very bottom of the tank. So, uh, yeah. Um, another couple things, if it won't start, I know this is kind of a stupid thing to say, but uh, starter switch right there. See how it says stop right here, and then it also says stop right here, and this has that line right there? That is now in the on position. This does not need to be depressed, neither does the uh, handle underneath, for it to start at all. If you leave it like this and you don't touch it, if you're squeezing it like this, it'll also flood the engine. So don't, um, don't do that. Just leave it like this. It'll do it on its own. Um, some other common reasons your um, trimmer won't start. Um, they flood. I mean, they, they flood. Uh, if you try cranking it over too much and you use the cold start on a warm day, uh, your engine will get too much gas in the cylinder and it won't want to start. Another really common problem I see is I'm going to take off the air filter here. And we're going to show what's underneath. Okay, see how that uh, air filter is dirty? Uh, that normally is showing you that um, there's something clogged in there. Uh, this one has a lot of gas and oil coming out. Um, 
It just happens on a hot day, it leaks out. I'm gonna clean it up and see if it continues doing that. Um, but yeah, that's, that's what you would also wanna check. So uh, that's it for this. Um, if you have any questions, write them down on the comments. I will get back to you. And uh, yeah, please subscribe. Thank you.